Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video, and in today's video, we're going to be unboxing Metroid Dread Special Edition. Um, earlier today I actually unboxed the Switch OLED, which I have right here, um, but now I get to unbox the game that launched alongside it, so yeah, pretty excited. I actually wasn't expecting to get the Special Edition, I was actually just expecting to unbox the Standard Edition, but um, what place I work at actually got some of these in, so pretty excited for it. Um... On the spine, or at least on the side, looks to be pretty much a continuation of the front cover. I think on both sides, actually. Yeah, it's pretty much just a continuation on both sides. On the top, it's just got the Nintendo logo. And on the bottom, it's just got some legal text and stuff like that. On the back, we actually got this really awesome artwork. And it says over here, includes game, steelbook, art book, and art cards. Rated T for Fantasy Violence and Animated Blood. It's one player across the board. Uh, says it's compatible with the Switch Pro Controller. Amiibo compatible. Basic reading ability needed to fully enjoy the game. And content in French and Spanish. Alright, so I'm going to jump cut to when I get this thing open. And we can see what's inside. Alright, so I just got the tape and stuff off. So now we can actually see what's inside. Ooh, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand but first things first we got the steelbook case over here which actually doesn't look like it has a seal on it so we'll take a look at that in a second uh we got what looks like to be the art card one of the art cards over here actually got some pretty cool little artwork underneath that and then we got the metroid uh, mission logs which i'm assuming this is the art book and this thing is actually pretty massive so we're gonna be looking through that in a second but first Let's see what's in here. Actually, first I should probably show what this case looks like. So this is the front of the case. Spine actually doesn't even have the game's title on it, which is pretty lazy. And back looks like that. So yeah. And inside, we got this artwork and we got the game cartridge right here. And that's it. All right, so I'm going to do a jump cut to when I get the seal off of this and the art cards. And we can see what the, all these look like. All right, so I just got the seals off of both of these. Now, first of all, I think we should take a look at the art cards because these would probably be the quickest. It's hard to get this all off in one hand. Ah, oh no, we're spoiling things. <laughs> all right, so first things first, we got Metroid. Nothing on the back, so we got Metroid 2, Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion, and then finally Metroid Dread. So that's all the art cards, which is pretty cool. Now onto the book. Um, it didn't really show what the whole book looked like, so that's the spine. That's the back. So yeah, in case anybody was wondering. All right, let's actually take a look at it. Hopefully I can flip through all these pages in one go. Hopefully Nintendo doesn't, like, I don't know, <laughs> copyright strike me for showing this, but... Yep, that's what that looks like. It's basically just a bunch of art. I don't know if this is all from... I'm assuming this is all from, like, some of the older games and stuff, too. Not just Metroid Dread. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't actually expecting this art book to be so beefy. I was expecting it to be, like, a pretty tiny art book. But this thing is actually pretty substantial, which is pretty cool. This is concept art from Metroid 2. Well, I don't know if it's concept art, but it's definitely artwork from Metroid 2. Which is pretty cool. Try not to skip over, uh, skip over any pages. Next up, we got Super Metroid. This thing's actually got a ton of pages, so you might be scrolling through this for a little while. That's why I'm trying to scroll these, through these a little fast. You can pause the video if you really want to take a good look at some of these, though. Next up is Metroid Fusion. up there's zero mission and samus returns i'm guessing this is just a mix of artwork from both uh, samus returns and zero mission Ooh, wow look at that super detailed artwork 
some of this stuff. Oh, actually, I don't know if I skipped it. I did skip the page. Whoops. Metroid Dread. I don't know if there's going to be any spoilers in here. Just so you know. There might be some spoilers for Dread. Just so you know. You might want to skip ahead. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Actually going to zoom in a bit on that because it might be a bit hard to see some of that. Looks like storyboards, though. Pretty cool. There's still a ton of pages left, by the way. This, this art book is really beefy. Good look at that one. We are finally getting near the end of the book, at least. so many pages dang all right and that was actually finally the last page that's the whole art book so yeah took us almost seven minutes to go through all that dang all right so that was the unboxing of metroid dread special edition so hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing if you did leave a like and a subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye